everyone, I'm Dr. Edith Bracho Sanchez. I am a pediatrician in New York City, and I've been keeping a list of the most common questions that my patients, my family members, and my friends are asking me about vaccines. Let's get to them. It was nuts. We have only been hearing about the technology that was used to develop mRNA vaccines for the past few months in the context of the pandemic. But in truth, this technology had been in development for years. We just had to adapt it quickly to help us deal with COVID-19. We had to do this because people were dying, but the reality is that we already had experience with this technology. By the time a vaccine reaches you, the experiments are finished. We're not going to allow anything to be injected to a healthy people that could make them sick. I mean, we know that we have to keep healthy people healthy. The experiments have finished, have concluded, and unless you choose to be part of a clinical trial, you're not being experimented on and we know that this vaccine is safe. We need to keep in mind, we have over 50 years of experience vaccinating children in this country and around the world. And we've learned a couple of things. First, we've learned the vaccines work. A lot of kids now have never even heard of things like measles and smallpox. We've also learned that when side effects are going to happen, they tend to happen in the first two months of receiving a vaccine. So what has happened now is that regulators, the people who give the green light to a vaccine, won't even allow pharmaceutical companies to ask for that permission to vaccinate people until those two months have passed. At this point, we know from the hundreds of millions of people who have been vaccinated in this country and around the world that the vaccines against COVID-19 are safe. We also know that every day you choose not to be vaccinated is a day that you are vulnerable to this very serious illness. So please, 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 the time is now. Go ahead and get your shot and protect yourself and your community. Guess who else is pregnant? This doctor. I will show you. Um, I'm almost eight months pregnant with my first child. It is a little boy in there and I was vaccinated in my first trimester. Unfortunately, women who get this virus in pregnancy have a higher likelihood of landing in the hospital, of landing in the ICU, of delivering their babies prematurely. We've also learned that the vaccines are safe in pregnancy. And at this point, we do have data and studies. I chose to be vaccinated and I hope you do the same. First, the risk of you having a complication from COVID-19 goes way, way down. We also know that you can pass antibodies to your baby through the placenta in pregnancy if you choose to be vaccinated. And that is so important because babies, newborn babies in particular, are so fragile. So the opportunity to give them antibodies is really, really amazing. Unfortunately, this virus keeps mutating. We have new variants among us. And even those of us who have been vaccinated can catch and transmit some of these new variants. What that means is that we have to do our part in stopping the spread of this virus, and especially in protecting those among us who haven't had a chance to be vaccinated, like young kids who don't qualify for a vaccine yet. Gosh, I wish I had a date. We know that it's gonna take a few more months and it is for good reason. Recently, the FDA asked for more kids to be included in the studies. This is because they want to be able to detect and say exactly how common those extra rare side effects are. So this is not anyone trying to hold this up. We understand the urgency of this vaccine in young kids, but we're being extra careful and appropriately so in my opinion. We don't know how long those antibodies last. We don't know how good they are. Whereas if you get vaccinated, we have studies to show us that those antibodies last for months and months and months. We know that they are good, that they work and that they protect you. So really the safer thing to do is to go ahead and get vaccinated. We get boosters for a lot of vaccines. 
If you are a parent, you probably know this because you have to take your child to the pediatrician a bunch of times in the first year of life as we boosted their immunity. Even later on as kids start school, we still need booster shots to remind the immune system to make those antibodies that are going to protect us. So this is not a new concept, but it is important to know that all of this is being done and being decided through a research and data-driven lens. You probably heard that the FDA recently approved the Pfizer vaccine, gave it full approval, and it means that we have even more data, we have international data, and that we feel really confident about this and we should all feel really good about it. I hope this was helpful. Stay safe out there, get vaccinated if you can. You can find me on any social media as Dr. Edith. You can even find me dancing to facts on TikTok.